The Yorkshire-born cyclist Tom Pickott is a perfectly built specimen in cycling. Small, light and extremely explosive despite his very small stature, making him a freak in nature to the sport. This has helped him propel himself to the highest ranks of the pro peloton, now standing next year, as of the time of this recording, to the ever-expanding force to be reckoned with that is the Ineos Grenadiers. And now we're going to remind ourselves of why this talent has every right to be part of this illustrious elite team. But I try my best to not fall apart And I find it hard to let go The memories keep me together Let's start with the Tour of Britain in 2018 on stage 6, when Pitcock would turn a few heads when he turned up at the finish line in the top 10, this being his best result while racing against some serious level pros like Primoz Roglic for example, whom he actually bested 11 positions ahead of him. Two thousand seventeen would be a good year for Picard, and even he would know this because he won the Paris Roubaix Juniors, an honour to be received before going full elite to actually race in the beautifully brutal and amazing one day race that every cyclist dares to dream to win at all cost. Because where people live there is always love. Tom is without a doubt a jack of all trades in cycling, so cyclocross is going to be one of the disciplines he would dabble in, and dabbling well he does, as he had quite a lot of success with it, being the junior and then under 23 world champion. He then decided to go to the elite, and this meant he would have to then take on the cyclocross machine Van der Poel. He clearly knew this would be no easy task with the Dutchman in his way. He got a taste of how hard it would be to take him on, and sadly he lost. Regardless though, he put in a massive, amazing effort, the performance of a lifetime no doubt, and also there's no doubt that he will learn from this mistake and shake up the cyclocross titans Wout van Aert and even Van der Poel himself. Another example of Pitcock being a jack of all trades is his performance in the Junior TT World Championships, where he would use his small stature to his advantage to become an aerodynamic bullet and even win him by 12 seconds of a gap to the runner up. A pretty dominating time trial, to say the least. After growing more in the ranks of cycling, he would take on the World Championship under 23s in road racing. This would be a challenge for him though, as Tom is not exactly built well for one day races, as he's more of a GC rider for the multiple days of racing. But in 2012, he managed to show off how good he really is on a road bike by going all the way to the end with the front of the race with a group of riders that just tower him so easily. He took these on very bravely in the final sprint and ended the race in third, keeping up and challenging these strong and bigger cyclists as if it was nothing. The Tour de Alsace can be seen as a mini Tour de France. Back in 2019, Pidcock would enter this race on fine form. Even with Matthew van der Poel present, he still made himself clear that he is more comfortable against him on the road when he won the GC and young classifications and even coming second in the points classification and then finally fifth in the mountains classification altogether. But his most impressive feat was stage two, which he won. But what makes it special, because the finish of this stage was none other than Le Pange de Bellevue, the very place where the great heist of the Tour de France 2020 would take place that we would never forget ever gotta fight till the end no pressure no pressure and i find it hard to say no to the ones who want something better to the ones who never say never you'll be my pleasure As we said earlier, Pickup will be joining the formidable British team that is Team Ineos, and there is zero doubt he got this opportunity from his latest big win, that is winning the Baby Giro. This was an amazing performance because he won stage 4, 7, 8, and even won the GC. Not only that, he won the Mountains classification and he came third in the Points classification. Total dominance. And just a little extra here for good measure to why this guy is such a good bike handler. Here's a great clip of him skidding downhill. And there we have it. 
Time Trial, GC Level Rider, Cyclocross Monster, he has it all. Let us know what you think about Peacock. Will he be winning big in Ineos next season, perhaps GC in one of the Grand Tours? Like and subscribe and click the bell icon for more Peacock videos. And as always, have a nice day. Oh, you'll be my pleasure.